So I need to go buy a new blow dryer, y'all. I had this blow dryer for years, and it is just this Conair Ionic Cord Keeper blow dryer. I don't know, just some cheap blow dryer I bought. <laughs> and then it came with this diffuser. Now I really need to go buy a new diffuser because this is a really shallow diffusers. There's a lot of diffusers that are like a cup, um, and the bigger the cup with diffuser, the better and like the more curl you'll get out of it, supposedly. So, but I mean, this is what I'm using right now. It's just your basic diffuser and um, I'm gonna attach it and blow dry. So my blow dryer has three different heat settings. It has cool, warm, and hot. And when I first start blow drying my hair, I put it on cool just so I can go ahead and get the initial wetness out of the hair first. So obviously I sped this up for y'all because it would take way too long if I didn't. But now I'm going to put my blow dryer on warm heat because if I just leave it on cool heat, my hair will never get dry. It would take forever and a day to dry my hair if I just left it on cool heat. So now it's on warm heat and I'm starting to lift and really try and blow dry my roots so I can start getting the volume that I want. Also, you want to go ahead and turn your head upside down. The majority of the time you're blow drying, you're going to want to keep your head upside down so you can get all the maximum volume that you can. So I try to blow dry my hair in sections. I'll usually start on one side of my hair and then I'll go to the other side and then, um, then I'll go into the back and then try to make sure I just blow dry it all evenly. There's no real method or technique that I use. I just really try to make sure I blow dry my hair as equally as possible. I'm dancing to Pandora right now. I don't even know what I was listening to, <laughs> but I'm jamming right now. I always listen to music when I blow dry my hair because it takes so long and it could be so boring. But um, yep, I'm just trying to get as much volume as possible by blow drying my roots and then lifting up the hair to give it as much height as possible. Um, and then you just continue to do this until it gets dry or at least as dry as you want it to be. You don't have to blow dry all of your hair. But um, I usually try to blow dry the majority of my hair. And the process continues. More blow drying, more trying to make sure my crown is dry and um, singing and dancing and uh, making sure my ends are dry as well as my roots. Now I'm going to focus on the front part of my hair, sticking the bantu knots in my diffuser so I can go ahead and get those dry. It's going to take long for those to dry so I just try and start that drying process. While continuing to add um, more body and height, just grabbing the hair from the bottom and just pushing it up and lifting it up and blow drying it and singing and dancing. Now I'm going to take out the bantu knots because I don't want too much shrinkage with them. So I'm just going to unravel the bantu knots and then go ahead and blow dry them together. So I'm going to start to unravel the bantu knots if I can get it to unravel. Come on Jess. There you go. And um, I'm going to blow dry them in with the rest of my hair just so it can blend a little bit easier just so it won't be two separate curl patterns. It'll still be two separate curl patterns just because I did have to bantu knot the beginning part of my hair or I guess I should say the front part of my hair but um, just to speed up that drying process because it would take forever if um, it wasn't bantu knot and so now I'm fluffing out my hair and just kind of separating my curls because they tend to chunk up and pretty much just placing my hair where I want it to sit and fall. So I just got finished blow drying my hair and this is the result. My hair is it's pretty much 100% dry. I would say it's like 98%. Maybe right here, yeah, right here is a little damp. Um, but if this was 100% dry, it would be a little bit bigger. So the drier your hair, the more um, volume you will have. So I'll show you up close. Curls are pretty defined. Um, there isn't a lot of frizz. And um, so this is pretty much freshly washed one day hair. Um, I usually like my hair better when it gets to like three, four day hair because it's bigger. Um, but the longer you let your hair sit without being washed, the more volume you'll get. So if I want to go out on the weekend and I want my hair to be big like how I like it to be big I'll make sure I wash my hair on like Wednesday or Thursday so by the time like Friday night Saturday night comes out comes around I'll have like the three-day hair that I want so whenever I go to sleep at night I do the same thing I bantu knot these pieces of hair and then I just put the rest of my hair in a ponytail 
Um, but I'll probably do a separate video on that because um, I actually refresh my hair and put some more stuff in it. So I'll do a separate video on that. But um, I hope this helped. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, like always, leave me a comment below. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway pretty soon. Um, I'm going to be doing probably probably giving away one of one of these bad boys and um, maybe one of these, maybe one of these. I don't know what I'm going to be giving away, but I'm going to be giving away some products. So it'll be more than one item, so more than one person will be able to win. And to be eligible for the giveaway, you must be a subscriber to this channel. If you have a Gmail email address, you can just use that and sign into YouTube with the same password. And if you don't, you just click sign up or whatever and you can make an account and that's how you can subscribe. I hope this video helped you out. Stay tuned for the curly hair nighttime routine to see how I refresh my curls um, throughout the week in between washes. And um, I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.